Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought we could do something fun and also challenging. If I could only keep 10 makeup items from Chanel, which items would they be? Before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So I have seen this top 10 trend here on YouTube for a while. Some people are talking about if they could only keep 10 eyeshadow palettes or if they could only keep 10 makeup brushes, which ones would it be? But today it's 10 makeup items from Chanel and I have meticulously curated my list. I have decided to only stick to makeup. I am not including skincare, perfume, or nail polish because that would just be way too difficult to keep in this list. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. The first one that came to mind without even thinking about it is the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. This came out last year in the summer collection with the Le Beige. This is a super sheer lightweight foundation, if we can call it that. It's what I'm wearing today. It's really just the best your skin but better product on the market, in my opinion. It manages to blur imperfections and keep your skin looking so healthy and dewy and natural. If I only had to use this foundation for the rest of my life, I would be happy with that. Here we have the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Powder. I have a few of these, but I decided to go with number 20, which is my complexion powder. Now I have a shade that's much darker, which is a bronzing powder on me but I decided to go with the face powder. So I use this after my water fresh tint and it really just helps set my makeup. But this powder is really something magical because it's, it sets your makeup without drying it, without making it look cakey. I have dehydrated skin, so I often have little dry patches here and there. This, you can set your makeup, you can set your concealer, and it doesn't dry. It somehow manages to set your makeup without making you look crepey or dry, which is fantastic. So this is number two right here. Okay, this here is probably one of my all-time favorite blushes ever. This is the Chanel Joux Contrast number 72 Rose Initial. It's just the easiest blush to wear. It goes with any makeup you're wearing, and I am definitely hitting pan on this palette, which is very exciting. I will wear this until the wheels fall off. Although I do have to say that I have never encountered a Chanel blush that I didn't love. So it was quite difficult to pick my favorite. I would go with this one here. I think the Jersey blush would be a close second. Now to round off the complexion category, I'm gonna go in with a new product here, a new MVP. This is the Chanel Le Blanc Rosy Light Drops. This is a liquid highlighter. This is more on the pinky side, but it is truly beautiful. It wears really well, even on top of makeup over foundation and powder. You can really melt it into the skin and it just gives you a really nice pearlescent highlighter effect. You can also wear it under your foundation for an all-over healthy glow, but I prefer to use it as its intended purpose, which is a highlighter. Okay, let's move on to lips. I have two items here. This was a really tough category to go through. I mean, if I could only have two Chanel lipsticks, which ones would they be? This was really hard, but the first one is what I'm wearing here. This has been one of my all-time favorites for a very long time. This is the Rouge Coco number 440 in Arthur. Now, the Rouge Coco line are a bullet lipstick, but they have a little bit of moisture to them, so they are not matte at all, but they do have a nice staying power. These do stain the lips and they do last quite some time, so you don't have to worry about reapplying. They don't bleed, they really just stay in place, and this color here is my favorite. You guys know that I'm partial to a warm-toned orange-red, so this here is no exception. And then the other lipstick is part of the Rouge Coco Flash line. So these ones here are much more balmy or gloss-like. These are much more hydrating. I find that in a pinch, I can just reapply this 
over top of my lipstick and it hydrates my lips. I picked the shade number 82 Live or Live. It is just the perfect everyday nude. You can wear this for any makeup look really. It just looks put together and elegant. And I love this texture. I find that I can reapply this all day every day and my lips never feel dry. I am definitely more partial to a satin or glossy finish. But what I like about this lipstick formula is that it is a lipstick. So even though it has a bit of a glossy texture and finish, it's still a lipstick. And so that's why this one here is my second pick for the lipsticks. This whole process is very stressful. I need to mist myself down just to cool off. Okay, so the last category here is all about eyes. Now, my first pick is the Chanel Volume Mascara. I would have to go with the original version, the original formula in black. I have tried the Volume Revolution, I have tried the Volume Stretch. To me, nothing beats the original. It's giving me volume and length and drama, all of which I want in a mascara. So for me, this is a no-brainer. Just I know it seems kind of like a boring product to pick, but it works, it's a classic for a reason. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow palettes. Now, this one here is number 268, Condor et Experience. This one here is all matte. You have four beautiful matte shades. The first two are just really beautiful transition shades, although one of them is a bit darker. And then on the bottom, you have this really beautiful red and then that really deep, rich chocolate color. I think that when in doubt, go with matte because it's really easy to do something really beautiful and elegant with these four colors. I know that red shade does seem intimidating, but it's actually quite surprising how flattering red eyeshadow can be, and you don't have to wear it so intensely. I will admit that I use the red shade the least in this palette, but I find that the other three shades are so beautiful, they blend so well, and they're so natural and flattering that they make up for everything in this palette, and so this one here would have to come with me if I could only pick 10 products. Okay, so the next palette here is one called Warm Memories, and this one came out in the Spring Summer Collection this year. So in this palette, you have a little bit more mix than the one that I showed you previously. This entire palette is more on the purple and peach side, but you have this really beautiful soft purple matte color, and then this other top lilac color, and then on the bottom you have a really beautiful dark purple and that beautiful peach color as well. I find that this is a palette that you could wear for any occasion. You could easily wear this to a boardroom meeting, something very professional and classic. You could do a smoky eye with it. It's very versatile because you do have a matte and you have a couple satin finish. And I think the key word here is satin finish eyeshadows. They're not a chunky glitter. It's appropriate for any age, any vocation really. And it's just a really good palette. Okay, next up is the last item on the list. This is also a new item. This is the Ombre Première Lac. These are the liquid eyeshadows that came out this spring. I would have to choose the shade called Rayon. It is a really beautiful light champagne color. I would pick this one here because this is a beautiful color to wear on its own. You can just swipe it on your lid and blend it out and then you have a nice beautiful eye look or you could use it on the inner corner this liquid shadow would also pair very easily and very beautifully with either of the eyeshadow palettes that i mentioned previously in fact i have worn this with both of those palettes separately and it works really well i just think that this is very versatile and when it comes to eyeshadow products that i think are essential being versatile is very important it's important because it could be something very simple, just a quick swipe, and there you go, you have your makeup look done, or you could layer it with something different. That's really what I'm looking for. So that is how I picked my last item here. I am so happy that this is not real life because I'm looking around and I'm like, oh no, what about the Chanel Stilos Yeux waterproof liners? What about this? What about that? There are so many other lip colors that I have that I love. Ugh. 
I have some really beautiful dark berry lip colors that I have from Chanel, but I didn't put it on the list. Oh no, what have I done? I guess it depends on the season. I'm sure if I did this in the fall, I would have picked some darker berry colors, but since it's spring turning into summer, I'm just like, oh no, I need a beautiful, bright, bold lip. Okay, I think this about does it for the hypothetical. If I could only keep 10 Chanel products, which ones would they be? Please let me know what you think of today's video. Let me know if you'd like to see this type of video for other brands as well. I do have some other collections here. So if you'd like to see more of this type of video, leave a comment down below. And let me know if you could only pick a handful of Chanel makeup products, which ones would they be? Like for me, the Water Fresh Tint and the Volume Mascara were the first two that came to mind. This was like a no-brainer. I was like, these two, obviously. And then the rest, I had to spend a bit of time to think about it. So let me know down in the comments. If you are new to my channel, we love to talk about luxury makeup. So whenever I get a new collection, I will create several different looks with the same items. So if that sounds interesting to you, please like, comment, and also subscribe. That all helps my channel grow. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys had a beautiful day as well. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.